Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Siege Battle for this week's Siege Week. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. If you are, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment uh, to show your support. And in today's Siege, we have two unusual factors. Uh, the first being that here we have the Gothii with uh, the Empire Divided, uh, like one of the Empire Divided factions. We don't often see them in uh, play, but we do have quite a few Empire Divided factions on the battlefield today. Um, and the second unusual thing that there is today is the sheer amount of elephants that are on the battlefield. We have two Sassanid players all sending their elephants straight out here. And here we go, they're already getting into combat. And, uh, well, yeah, I guess you could tell from the, th uh, the thumbnail and the title that there is a lot of elephants here today. And, uh, yeah, so Carthage already under attack from a lot of elephants. Are uh, they all getting stuck in the gate? Oh, here. Look at this. This is the traffic jams to beat all traffic jams trying to get out this gate. And you can see the catapults coming in. I think they're trying to hit elephants as they uh, come out of the gate, which is not a bad idea, to be fair. But uh, they are trying to do that. And then we have Caledonia over here, another empire-divided faction. And they are they were all hidden. They could not be seen. Most of their army still is hidden. And they are uh, springing a trap on the Carthaginians. Most of their units are very light, so... They're going to need a lot of support from these elephants to uh, break the lines of the Carthaginians. But yes, so we have, it is a 4v4 siege battle today. Um, I myself am in this one. I am the Gothii at the back defending. I decided to be the, uh, the sane one and bring no sally force. Since we had three players doing it, I thought, well, someone's got to hold the fort, quite literally. So uh, I will be on a... Uh, Defense duty, I am defending like the main capture point. I could go a little bit further out, but uh, I'm basically fighting three armies at this point. Um, we have some... Look at these archers up here. These archers are in a great position uh, for when they eventually come up this street here uh, and face my troops. We also have a huge sally out of, uh, well, basically Persian light infantry. Just to basically harass Gallic Rome, which is the other... Uh, Empire Divided faction that is here today. So there's five Empire Divided. We also have Mastodon, Carthage we've already seen, and Normal Rome uh, here today. So yes, this is kind of a bit more of a... We've had some very serious sieges so far this week. I thought, let's be a little bit more light-hearted. And let's have kind of a more funny one with just lots of elephants and lots of light infantry. And here you go. Let's see if this light infantry can overwhelm the Romans. Sadly, they're kind of all hidden by the siege towers. Uh, that one's a bit better. But yeah, so... Uh, I don't feel like these uh, light infantry are going to get very far. They are fighting longsword cohort, uh, which is a good solid unit uh, from the Gallic Romans. And yeah, there you can see already breaking. Um, but we might as well go back over and see the elephants because they're the real stars of the show today. Uh, they've got a few uh, units, uh, Persian spearmen here to support, but they're not going to do much. But you can see here the elephants are... I mean, you can see, look at this. This is still a full unit, but most of it's still inside the uh, city. So they're like... Only two of them have managed to get out and fight the Sacred Band. Will that be enough? Who knows? But yes, with Assassinage, you can bring, like, an unlimited amount of elephants, as long as, obviously, the funds allow it. Um, so, yeah, I think both un both uh, Assassinid factions brought about eight units of elephants, uh, which is quite a lot. I mean, I'm surprised, actually, Carthage didn't bring any, since he was attacking. They're pretty good for breaking through choke points, but... Uh, it clearly was not worth the uh, worth the time, and there's already a lot of dead elephants down here, actually, which is the only reason why the balance of power is so massively in our favour. Is that when the balance of power does see elephants, it just thinks, "Wow, that's such a tanky unit. They're going to kill so many," and they often do. So, uh, but I mean, these pikes are starting to kill them. They're actually making like like making a bit of a wall of dead elephants here. How many African poachers would love this? Uh, not that poaching's okay. It's a bad thing, but I mean, they'd be loving this. All this ivory up for grabs. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it looks like at the moment, I mean, the general here actually for this uh, assassinated faction is only at eight left, which is a bit of worrying. But yeah, I mean, all these elephants going into combat, that's a bit worrying because elephants, I mean, they're a big target and once they take a bit of damage, they're a lot easier to kill. Obviously, that's kind of the same with just any unit, but obviously, elephants are very easy to scare and... Uh, just kill off. Look at the amounts of units needed from the Caledonians just to break the sacred band and this mercenary noble fire. It is literally so much. I do apologize uh, for the Caledonian like 
women units, I think it is, I forgot what they're called, they're like Scartha, Scartha Shadows, they scream a lot, they do a lot of screaming. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to minimize the amount of time we do see in them, even though Caledonian does do a good job in uh, ambushing a lot of these troops. But, I mean, yeah, Carthage is in a bit of a rough spot. Look at the amount of elephants still to come out. There is still a queue of elephants to come out. Uh, so it's a bit of a concern. Um, on the other side, you can see, oh, let's, a little bit more. You can see uh, the Persian lights are basically all routed. Uh, I don't see them ever coming back. I'm sure this is where... Gallic Rome is going to rack up his kills. And it might as well have just killed nothing. Macedon has got to the walls and is knocking down walls. I do feel sorry for these players. They're just like, yes, we're going to get inside the walls. And we've done so well. And then they just realise there's no one in this city until the very end. Apart from if you're an elephant. They're, all, they're kind of in here. And the Romans, again, also just knocking down a load of stuff. They could have... All they had to do was put one siege tower on the wall. Obviously, that takes a lot longer. But they would be in. Uh, but yes, so there you go. Armoured Legionnaires getting inside. I'm sure there's Praetorians yet. There they are. Praetorians inside as well. A very elite Roman army as always. Um, but yep, so the elephants. We'll go back over there and have a look. Still having a good fun time. And the Sacred Band uh, seeing their, o their strongest weapon being used against them, the elephant. It is a bit of a shame to see uh, a lack of... War elephants from the uh, Carthaginians. It'd been interesting to see like one elephant fac uh, unit fight off against like 16, I think it is, about 16 units. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, Carthage hasn't got much left. He's got his archers left, which is a huge thing. I think, I think the Rome, not the Romans, I think uh, Caledonia was trying to focus them down with his archers, but I mean, I think the elephants in the end just did the job. There actually are some elephants breaking, and I do believe. Uh, the, uh, I think one of the elephants general is dead, but I could be wrong. It's this one over here. I'm pretty sure he is dead or is about to die. Um, I could be wrong. It didn't really say, didn't really say anything. And it's hard to tell. All the elephants look the same. But here we go. More scar the shadows here. Look how many chevrons these guys have. They're, they're so cheap. And you just hide them places and harass people. But yeah, I think the entirety of... Apart from the two cavalry units that uh, Caledonia brought, his entire army was just uh, made up of vanguard troops that could just hide beyond the walls. Look at these bloodied up women with scary braided hair. And then if you weren't scared of the women, you'll be very much scared of the stampede of elephants that's coming. They are actually getting kind of stopped in the tracks. I don't know if it's just they're getting stuck on these other Cretan units. But, I mean, these Cretan archers and Bail Eric Slingers are getting off a decent couple of volleys. Taking down a few elephants. I saw one drop. And here he comes out of the gloom. Some more of the elephants. Yes. It's hard to see with all the bushes here. I do apologize. But there you go. Oh! Knocking them down. Who can stop the elephants? Nobody. And there you go. The general is actually wavering. I do believe he is dead. Yeah, eager general dead. But does that really stop elephants? Not really. You've got to kill them all, really. And there you go. The band's power is already kind of uneven again. I think they killed enough of the elephants off to kind of even out this battle. I mean, Carthage is gone at this point. Carthage has already got his general, which I think is still alive. He's got 10 men left. He's lucky to get out. But yeah, the rest of his army is gone. <laughs> um, poor Carthage did get triple teamed. Not... not just 1v1, not 2v2, triple teamed. Uh, while the rest of his teammates kind of just watched on. They, they couldn't do anything, in fairness. I mean, Gallic Rome kind of was just fighting a horde of absolute rubbish in the, in the shape of uh, Persian Light Infantry, which have now littered literally most of this area. Uh, there are some dead Romans. I mean, I'd be very impressed if, as a Persian Light Infantryman if you killed a Roman. Um, I, did, I think I fired my artillery over here. We can also kill some guys, but... Didn't really do a lot. Imagine if you had an artillery here now, though. Like, the sheer amount of troops in this blob here, that would be nasty. But Carthage did get out his Numidian cavalry and his general. I think that's all he's got out. His uh, infantry is long gone. And now the elephants are back. And they're already going after Macedon. So, yes, uh, they saw the opportunity. These are gold chevron Cretan archers. And we were like, no, they're not allowed to survive. And here you go. They're already in amongst the archers. And... Uh, However many chevrons you have, 
It will not stop you getting flattened by elephants, and they're going on to the next one already. Pushing through with elephants, it's not really a push through at all. It's an elephant. You knock the unit over, and it's uh, fine. I mean, here you go. Pikes are coming in, and they're saying up. They can't set up the pikes in time. So these elephants just do not care that they're there. And uh, that unit was fresh, and it's already down. It's already dealt, lost 20 men. And there you go, another 40. Oh my gosh. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on this unit. Look how quickly that's going through. And the elephants are already moving on. They don't care. Um, look at it now. 80. It's already at half strength. It's been here a matter of seconds. And this unit of foot companions. Foot companions are the most elite pike unit probably in the game. And it's gone. It's gone. The archers are basically all destroyed as well. 17 and 3. There's another one back here. And 24. It's still no good. These elephants are going mad. Doesn't matter. There's nothing for them to like damage because it's their own. It's just the Macedonians here. The, I guess elephants can't damage other elephants when going mad. Look at this huge blob of infantry here, though. This is kind of okay. I mean, they're throwing a lot of javis, which is really good. That's a really good uh, weapon to use against them. But I mean, these elephants. Oh, there goes a couple. There goes a couple. I mean, this is a lot of thorax swords. But they're going mad just inside the thorax source, and that's going to be detrimental. They're bringing up, yeah, the Numidian cavalry's bringing up. It's our, it's like, it's horse archers, or horse cavalry, I don't know, skirmish cavalry. And they're going mad, but I mean, I mean, these fucking fighting sides a bit better. But all they're doing is going mad in more uh, enemies. And then now Rome's run into some elephants as well. Um, he's got Praetorians here. I think the Romans might do a little bit better. Mainly because Macedon got really caught out, and Macedon lost all of his archers in the space of seconds. But they do look beautiful. Can anyone stop them? I think if anyone's going to stop them, it's going to be the Romans. Either Gallic or uh, normal Rome. I think the best equipment. I mean, I've, the pike's obviously very good, but you've already lost one pike unit. And Macedon's having a real issue here. Like, these units are just going berserk. But they're going berserk to keep crashing into Thorax swords over here. Having a real issue. Uh, the general is at 29. He's somehow still alive. He's barely got out with his life. Uh, but yeah, so that's just the first, like, wave of elephants. There is more, like, coming around. There's quite a lot of them dead, I will admit. But there is still... They're still coming in from outside, which is ridiculous. One unit of elephants is enough, but uh, to see this many is quite bizarre and also ridiculous a bit. But, like I said, this is a bit more of a light-hearted siege. We weren't playing so try-hard. We were just having a fun time. But it actually ends up quite close. So it's uh, well worth watching to the end. And there you go, Triarii coming in. That's a good unit to send in spears. To go in there, and there you go, another elephant down, just like that, as soon as the Trarii arrive. But look, it's a wall of, like, flesh, and I guess that's bronze? I doubt it's gold, and silver, and just, like, four-legged beasts. Um, but yeah, they're kind of now stuck in here, and they're causing, I mean, that one died, and, like, after it pushed them all back. But yeah, they do need to kind of come back in, do another charges, but if they fall back, I think they'll die, so... Best thing in there. They're actually routing this unit. That is a routed unit of elephants. Ten, ten troops. But I guess they might still do damage when they pull out. But here you go. More elephants coming in. And more Romans about to die. There you go. The elephants just clattering through. They don't care. And they are actually dying as soon as they get in here though. Um, but yeah. So the elephants are preparing. Again up here. You've got more elephants coming down here. Jeez. Okay. They're part of the same unit. But so yeah, you've got Triarii, we've got the main... Actually, no. I say Rome split in two. He's got a lot dedicated over here to fight these elephants. He's also got a lot here. My uh, Gothai archers are now into action. Or well, they should be anyway. Yeah, these ones are. They're shooting from here. These are uh, elite Gothic archers. And they're firing all the way down and taking out these Syrians. I was just basically trying to be a good teammate. Uh, save as many uh, elephants as possible by killing as many archers as possible. Because that's the real way that they'll stop them. Um, and then there's this army here of Caledonia, which is still intact. It's still an intact army, which uh, they don't know is here. They can't see it. You can see with the like little hidden icons above. And the plan with these, this army was to go round and come through the breaches Rome had made, 
get the ballista because obviously that's a good unit to take out and also just en envelop Rome like the normal Rome uh, as you can see Mastodon is gone uh, he is basically redundant Carthage is ever so slightly alive his general still uh, and the elephants over here are kind of just getting I mean they're slowly dying I mean they're about to face uh, Go uh, Gallic Rome which is probably the best suit to dealing with uh, the Sassanid elephants because they are of the same period they are of uh, like empire divided but we'll see we will see what happens but yeah normal Rome is having a tough time a real tough time I say I'm apologizing for the screaming women like are you here with the uh, Scartha shadows but I mean all you hear when you zoom into elephants is a load of elephant like noises I don't know what what do they do they trump do they trumpet no. What, what does an elephant? What's the like the, the word when a elephant makes a noise? Is it just? I don't know. No idea. I've had a mind blank. But yeah. So my Gothii troops are now in here supporting the Praetorians, kind of almost protecting the elephants here. These elephants are actually properly engaged. Um. Yes. Yeah, so I'm just kind of holding them back as much as I possibly can. So what have we got in here? We got some armor Germanic swords and some Gruthungi. Elite Spears. Over here, we've got the general uh, for one of the assassinated players, or the one that's still got troops alive there. And now I'm firing. Look at this. This is devastating. This is a full unit. And it's already at 140, 130. But look at this unit just get destroyed by all my archers up there on that uh, hill. It is just getting rinsed. It's already lost about 50 men before going in. And that'll be including HP damage, all sorts. It's now just down to 190s. That is insane. That is... These elite archers doing really, really good. And they're going to carry on to do so. We've got pikes of our own as well here ready. So if we it does come to the worst, we do have troops ready. We have uh, wolfhounds over here as well. If you didn't have enough four-legged animals uh, on this uh, battlefield, we now have wolfhounds. So they, they are going to be interesting to see. I wonder where he'll unleash them. There's not really any archers available to release, release them on, which is probably their best to go. But it'll be interesting to see. Um, yeah, the general here is now out of control. These elephants here have kind of broken through and uh, God knows what's happening here. I mean, these ones are out of control, so they may harm my own troops, but I've got so many in reserve, I don't really care. But you can see this is just an absolute uh, layer of dead Praetorians from these elephants. It is something remarkable to see this many elephants on the battlefield. <laughs> uh, my archers are now trying to refire, uh, and these just tiny units back here, basically. Just take these guys out. More Praetorians. I'm not allowing them to get through. And there you go. They're getting shredded. Uh, got a great view on just shooting anything in the back that fights these elephants. Anything that comes here gets absolutely shredded. Um, the elephants won here. They beat all of the Romans, Romans here. And they can now, if they want to, encircle what remains of normal Rome. These Sassanids are insane. And basically, it did help that Mastodon kind of was eager and came into this square. Gallic Rome was a bit slower. So the Assassins were able to take out Mastodon and then turn around and go after normal Rome before Gallic Rome was even really set up properly. Just taking out one at a time. And here you go, the Wolfhounds coming in, taking out a tiny bit of Triarii. Which is looking the wrong way. I don't think they'll actually manage to do it. Like I said, Wolfhounds are really good for taking out archers and light units. But Terraria, even this size, probably will uh, will be okay. I don't know. Could be wrong. But how... And then the Caledonia, here you go. What is left of Macedon is dedicated with defending a rear guard against an entire army of Caledonia. Who is now inside. And these... Uh, here you go. The Screaming Women are back. As they fight what is, uh, I mean, just a ragtag defense here from Macedon. And yeah, there you go, broken like that. And they are in. And they are able to now strike on Gallic Rome's flank, who is desperately trying to just go up, get up and try and support his ally, Rome, against, uh, well, the Sassanids, really. I'm slightly here, but really, I'm just a bystander. I mean, you've got a, a sacred band unit from... Carthage is inside the walls. I don't know how it's quite managed. 
Uh, oh, they got a tower to the walls. Oh, well done, my, uh, Carthage. But yeah, tiny little unit. I'm sure that these Persian spearmen could probably go and rout if they wanted to. But yeah, so we are basically down to Gallic Rome already. Um, so it just shows the ridic how ridiculous this was. And what we've got coming up. We've got Gallic Imperial Guard already, the first up. And what have they got to face first? Some wolfhounds. I think they might do just fine. Yeah, they're going to just rinse through these. I don't even know where the dogs went. Oh, they've gone all the way around there. What are they doing? I presume that they... I don't know. Maybe they were finishing taking out those triarii. Uh, because they're now going after the Gallic Imperial Guard. I guess that's an interesting point. Actually, I've never seen. Okay, no, even if the infantry breaks, the dogs carry on. And they don't care. They're just going to go after these Gallic Imperial Guard. I don't see dogs fighting enough, so it's interesting to see what they'll do. I don't think they'll kill a single one of these guys. Or maybe they're just going to run through them. I don't know. Nope, they are sort of fighting. And sort of dying. Poor dogs. Uh, we'll have to get the elephants to avenge them. But there is talking of the elephants, there is not many of them left. This is kind of what is left of the elephant contingent. There's a fair amount of them left, but that's probably far too many in a normal game of Rome 2. But this is not any old normal game of Rome 2. This is, let's have a laugh and see how many kills elephants can get, it would seem. But um, we now have the Gallic Romans setting up here. They've got their flank sorted against uh, the Caledonians. We've got a longsword cohort here ready in testudo. The balance power is not looking good for the Romans at all. I am now mobilizing my army. I've decided that we don't need to hold the top. We can come down and face Gallic Rome in the field. Well, not the field, but in the city. So here we go. We're going to have some armor Germanic swords that are probably going to be the first to go in. So this is actually going to be one of the first... Well, I mean, we had uh, Carthage versus Caledonia, but we had, this is going to be one of the first heavy infantry clashes of the day, really. I mean, I fought a little bit against Rome, but, like, only slightly. That's kind of a cool angle. You can kind of see is like, the lines, like, where they're forming. But uh, we'll go in, and we'll have a look and see what, see what happens. But, yeah, it's very dense. It's hard to tell what exactly is going on in there. Just a lot of men slapping each other with swords. I'm sure Caledonia is about to do the same on his side. It does look like that is the case. We have elephants over here ready, so we're going to have a, a a cooperation, I guess. I guess you could put it like that, a co-op attack. So we have the, the Sassanids and the Caledonians. Literally two civilizations from different parts of the world. One that's not even, like, managed to build relatively good cities, and then the one that's, like, owns an empire from Iran to Syria. Well, India to Syria, almost, you could say. But yeah, here they come. Little old elephants. Doing their bit. And then lots of jabbies from the Romans coming in. That's certainly going to deal with these elephants nice and efficiently. You can see a few dropping already. But yeah, this long sword cohort unit, it's not looking so hot. 71 already. Um, you can see over here, we've also got the same. We've got a Gallic Imperial Guard coming in. These guys, uh, they kind of dealt with it a bit better. Oh, no, maybe not. I take that back. And there you go. The elephants are through. And here comes like a horde of gothic troops that is following them. It's not really a horde, but a good contingent. And yeah, they're going to go in. Sadly, that's the only problem with elephants. You can barely see what's going on, so they're kind of just like trying to show you from a distance. But yeah, I think the elephants are going to move on. They're going to just go and cause more havoc. Uh, back in this square, which they did for so many, uh, for such a long time against Macedon. Yeah, they're going straight into the back of these uh, Gallic Heavy Skirmishers. A really good target. Oh, that one just charged and died. He just wasn't feeling it today. Was not feeling it. But I mean, uh, yeah, these Gallic Skirmishers should die pretty quickly. They're already wavering. I mean, they're a good uh, anti-elephant unit. They've got lots of javies. Uh, really need to break through this unit a lot quicker. Losing decisively, but I'm not seeing much wavering. That's a uh, Royal Guard for you, or Imperial Guard. And now we've got pikes coming up for uh, the Goths over here. Just to try and force back the Imperials a bit quicker. 
We're killing them, but not quick enough. Here we go. The pokey pokey pikes coming out from behind the lines. Imagine trying to get a pike through this blob here. You're just like, excuse me, excuse me. Long stick coming through. Don't mind me. Oh, I just kebabbed one of my own friends. Oh, oh, sorry. He deserved it anyway. You'd have to all, like, pull out and then send the pikes back in. But yeah, so they're now flanking around here uh, are the goths. So we have the armor Germanic swords in here. They're already losing slightly. I mean, they are not... They get outmatched by most of the Romans. We've got Gallic Imperial Guard here again. I think most of the army is made up of Imperial Guard. We have veteran Gallic Legionnaires here. Uh, and more Imperial Guard... Uh, yeah, lots of Imperial Guard. We've got Longsword Cohort as well, and the General here. But we've got plenty more uh, Goths to come down this street. We've got more Pikes of our own. We've got uh, lots more Swords. So they should be fine. And there you go. The Caledonians are inside. With the Elephant support, they did break through. There's not many of them left, though. They are running short on women. Not a, well, Actually, there is some men here, but they, they are on horses. Oh, that's actually a very good volley with the Javis. Getting a lot of those cavalry there. About four or five. Over here, having a really hard time, but these archers coming up onto the elite Highland archers, they could rain fire down on the Longsword Cohort here. And the Longsword Cohort looks like it's realized what's about to happen. No, maybe not. Maybe I thought they had realized that they were in for a really rough time here. But are they going to fire down onto uh, the Romans, I wonder? Or are they just getting off the wall? I think they might be out of ammo. I'm just getting off the wall to surround the Romans. Though, will they break them? I'm not really sure. Uh, these units are all very light. The Romans probably could take being in surrounded. And here we go. I'm going to try and flank now with this uh, Oath Sworn unit. I'm going to have to engage this unit. But then the next one could possibly flank on this Imperial Guard. Possibly. We'll have to see. I do love the Roman uniforms for Empire Divided. I think they're really cool. So mitch, mitch matched and uh, mix matched and like I don't know. Their helmets are just different. It's just nice to see something different. I prefer. I do like the late Roman period. Uh, I don't know why. Just I think because the Romans have a harder time. It's more of a challenge. It's kind of more entertaining to read about than just something like stomping over a lot of factions. But uh, yeah, no, it's very a very cool period. I will admit. Uh, but yeah, I think these Roman units... I mean, that one's losing slightly now. That one's still doing okay. So we might eventually break through this Gallic Imperial. Might need to send the Pikes up to help, though. But, uh, yeah, we did eventually break through this choke point here. And this unit was losing slightly. And then they flanked here. Added some of the troops surrounding that one. And it's now allowed all of the troops that are in these two choke points to now link up with the Caledonians and surround kind of what remains of Gallic Rome. I mean, we have stuff breaking. Though. We have armoured... Look at that. 87 armoured Germanic swords breaking. That's not so good. You can see why we needed the elephants. And you can see why Gallic Rove had the best chance of beating the elephants. I mean, he wasn't going to make the fight. I do imagine if he fought the elephants head on first, he may have uh, may not have done so well. But who knows? I mean, I think Car Carthage did a very good job against him. In comparison to, like, Macedon. Macedon just, like, did not last as long as Carthage. But yeah, I mean, the Roman circle is slowly and slowly uh, getting smaller and smaller. I mean, this unit here is losing the size. It's 33 men holding back a small horde of women. A small horde of Karens. It's what Karens are like when they, uh, I don't know, want, really, really want their toilet roll. Like, fine. Have it. But it looks like uh, we've got Romans here, Longsword Cohort, going on to all, going to deal with these Highland Archers. Not a, I, not a bad idea. I think these ones still had ammo. You can, they've got the bows out. Then they were trying to focus down the general here. Um, but instead he's charged closer to my bowmen. Who are now staying up here and are getting ready to fire onto uh, the general as well. So that will certainly help thin his ranks out. He's already down to 69. But he's a very elite carry unit. There you go. He's got out. Still got quite a lot of troops in his unit. 
I mean, yeah, you go. This Gallic Imperial is starting to lose. I don't know if he's try Is he going to try and fall back? I don't know. But once this unit's gone, they might need to send another one up because he can flank around and then this one's ava uh, available to get and then this whole area is under threat. But I mean, obviously that was going to be the case. The Romans have so few troops left. They're kind of just fighting to see how many kills they can get at this point. I mean, these Gallic... Look at this one. This Gallic Imperial here is winning slightly and it's surrounded. It's how tough it was at this end part of the game. I was like, I wish we had a couple more elephants left. Because me and Caledonia are having a hard time breaking through this Gallic Roman line. I like how he's Gallic Rome, but he still managed to find a, find a lion somewhere. Where are you finding uh, lions in France, sir? No lions in France, last time I checked. I do like the officer as well. Is that unit breaking? Wow, that unit was breaking. Uh, there's actually a mass chain route there. There's three units broken there. Uh, I do believe... Oh, no, the general is still alive. He's lost another ten men since we last checked on him. But I guess they're just exhausted. They know the odds are against them. And that unit's now breaking. And that's kind of it in the square. It's just coming down to the general. Uh, who has just routed some more Highland Arches. Which is no surprise there. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's basically the battle. I will uh, just fast forward for the sake of it. Um, the Roman general is just going to charge in and die. And then, yeah, let's see his last charge, actually. Let's, let's admire his uh, brave charge into some infantry. Can't go wrong at all. And there you go, the general is breaking. I think he's uh, fully broken. And it's just that artillery crew at the back there that's wavering and it's about to waver and break and go. So that is excellent and that is the battle. So the elephants were enough to break three armies by themselves. And then it just came down to the Gothi and what remained of the Caledonians to mop up the job. And uh, yeah, we'll look over the end result kills quickly. So yes, I was playing as the Gothi. Um... I did okay. I mean, obviously, I didn't participate in most of the battles. So I think the most kills any of my units got was 168 for my archers, which was very good. Actually, 175 there. That's even better. 154 for my armored swords. Um, we've got 162 for my pikemen. And then most of my other stuff just got, like, in the hundreds. And spears are getting 109. It's not bad. Then Killian, who's playing as one of the Sassanids, he got 618 with one of his elephants. Another one getting 563. They're the best two. Um, obviously, the rest of his infantry did nothing. Then Grim Guardian got a uh, quite a lot of kills with his elephants. Got his general got 300. His another one got 300. That one got nearly 500. 410, 558. All of them doing excellent, really. Um, so yeah, I mean, he got the most kills by a long, long way. 3,224. So well done to him. Then Coops, who was playing as the Caledons, um, 139 with his cavalry. There, not bad at all. And I think his best. Scarth Shadows is this one 193, which is very well, and his Wolf Hounds getting 40 kills, so well done to those little dogs. And then Macedon, uh, 454 kills in total. Um, his best unit, this Royal Pelt here, got 199, so that got about half of his kills, that one unit. Um, he did bring a smaller army than most, but even still, um, like the elite's units here, he should have possibly done better, but he just... Didn't link up with uh, Gallic Rome, which I think needed to happen, or with Rome, uh, who got 200 kills. I think that's the least amount of kills I've ever seen in a Rome 2 siege for any player, or any Rome 2 game. Um, yeah, there's literally no unit here of note. I don't even know where he's getting these 200 kills from. This one got 59, I guess. That's probably a large percentage, but I don't even see 200, well, 199 kills there. Then we have Gallic Rome, who got 3,510. He actually got the most kills out of anyone, um, but he did basically wipe out Coops. Uh, and he took out a good chunk of my troops as well. Uh, and the elephants. He got 320 with this Gallic Imperial uh, Guard here. That's very good. Um, he got 255 with his Longsword Cohort. 305 with that Longsword Cohort. And his uh, Veteran Gallic Legionnaires only got 131. Uh, 310 there as well, actually. That long. His Longsword Cohort did very well. I didn't even realise. They are very, very good uh, for their price. And then he got... Uh, 
Sky Lu uh, Marker, who was playing as Carthage. Sorry, I just forgot to say that uh, Rome was played by Turbo Fisto, and then Gallic Rome was played by uh, JMH3773. And then Carthage was played by Sky Lu Marker, uh, who did okay as well. He got over a thousand kills. I mean, he was triple teamed, the only one to be triple teamed. Um, 234 kills with his Mercenary Noble Fires, 139 with his Mercenary Nobles, and that's kind of it of note. I mean, those Sacred Band got 112, they did okay. But yeah, everything else has got, and got massacred, unfortunately. But if you enjoy that more like light-hearted siege, then please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Let's hit that 1500 uh, mark. We are so close now, guys. Thank you for the support so far, and let's keep it up. And also leave a comment to show your support uh, as well on the channel. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.